Hey CFGI crew, I wanted to shoot a quick little video to talk to you guys about uh, the next life challenge we have coming up. Uh, some of you guys have done these life challenges before and have been asking me when we're going to do another one. Typically I do one in the late spring, um, so here we are. And those of you guys who have not done one before, I just wanted to kind of lay out what the challenge entails and if, it, if it's something that interests you, see if you guys want to uh, jump in the mix here. Excuse me. So um, the challenge itself. The seminar is going to be next weekend, June 4th. The challenge itself will begin on June 6th, which is a Monday. Uh, usually I'll do the seminar, seminar a couple days before just to give you guys time to grocery shop. Uh, the challenge itself is 32 days this time rather than 30. Uh, if it was 30, it was going to fall on July 4th. So we're going to bump it a couple days to make sure everybody's back in town. So uh, July 6th is when the test out will be. If you are not here for whatever reason for the seminar, uh, I always tape it and we'll post that as well. So you can still participate if you'd like to. Uh, and then if you're out of town for the checkout, we can always just wait a few days. Usually I have a couple people that are out of town for whatever reason, um, and we can just bump it a couple days. So don't use that as an excuse not to join. Um, but the way this works is we have two to three person teams. We do it for accountability purposes. Some people like to go grocery shopping together. Um, it's often helpful to have a partner in crime when you guys are trying to figure out what foods to eat. Sometimes people organize dinners, um, which I think is great. Uh, so the way this works, 32 days, there's four uh, point, point categories. Everybody will get a spreadsheet, and within that spreadsheet, uh, you guys will have different categories to accrue points for your team based on daily challenges, right? So the, the four categories are eat well, uh, they're on our board, move well, eat well, think well, live well, right? Um, so the move well category has things like coming to CrossFit class, doing extra mobility. Um, the think well category has things like uh, meditation, um, gratitude practices, um, uh, even something as simple as like reading every day. Uh, the live, uh, think, excuse me, the eat well category um, has you guys tracking your macros, um, w daily water intake, uh, and then the uh, live well category. Uh, oftentimes we, we base that on your performance throughout the challenge. So uh, if you lose a certain percentage of body fat or if you pick up, pick up muscle, uh, you get points for the live well category. Um, so each day you guys will have different ways of accruing points for your team and then over the course of those 32 days you guys will have a total score uh, that we will uh, you'll be competing with the other teams um, everybody gets a t-shirt um, each week you guys will have educational videos that will come out uh, I often like to include weekly challenges um, so I'll post an educational video uh, something like the dangers of alcohol or um, why it's important to eat two to three hours before you go to sleep uh, simple things like that, and then I asked you guys to give me some feedback on those things. Um, this is very much like a give and take. Uh, this is the ninth challenge that we've done here, and uh, I don't consider myself to be an authority figure on these things. Uh, it's more like I'm learning as I go along with you all. So I use these life challenges as an opportunity to uh, bring back some information that I found that I found uh, useful and it's constantly changing and uh, I'm always trying to, to figure out what is the next thing that maybe people are missing out on. And for the most part, these challenges are pretty hugely successful. Um, I, I think the last challenge had the, uh, the biggest loser was like 6% body fat or 7% body fat over just 30 days. Uh, it's wild what you can do when you really dial it in. Um, and that's kind of the whole point. Unfortunately, um, there's not a lot of information. Well, there's a lot of information. Uh, but nobody structures things like this to teach us about the functionality of the human body. And I think that's a, a real shame, right, to be walking around with um, one of the greatest organisms this planet has ever delivered us, and we have no idea what the operating manual is. Um, and you can kind of see it in the fabric of society, right? There's not a lot of people uh, in the United States that look like they're on the peak of their physical uh, performance. So um, this is my attempt to learn with you guys as we kind of go through this process and it's super fun to watch people change their habits and that's kind of the whole point so if that is something that interests you um, and even if it's something that you're kind of curious about you guys are welcome to come to the seminar uh, it's free there's no pressure to join uh, if you get to decide do you want to do the challenge it's 90 bucks for the challenge um, and that covers um, all the back end work uh, everybody gets a t-shirt there's a chance to win prizes for the winners at the very end um, and 
and it includes an in-body scan as well. So we'll do an in-body scan at the beginning of the 30 days and an in-body scan at the end of it as well. And that's kind of how we'll measure your muscle mass and uh, percentage body fat loss. So if you guys have any questions, once again, the seminar is going to be next weekend, June 4th. The challenge itself will start on June 6th. Uh, it'll be 30 days, and uh, hopefully we'll build you guys into better humans, uh, better beach bodies, and uh, hopefully make everyone just and their families just a little bit happier. So um, let me know if you guys have any questions when you see me around. Um, if I don't see you for Murph tomorrow, I hope you have a good Memorial Day weekend, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Cheers.